Well, I would like to follow up on uh, my opening remarks and also some of the opening remarks of people on the panel um, by uh, putting a finer point on the issue of the U.S. occupation and the sort of problematic role of anti-imperialism in formulating a response um, by pointing out that the left is in a sort of a bad way when looking at what the possibility for developing a left in Iraq might be um, under present circumstances and also after a U.S. withdrawal. Um, one way that I would put it is to say that um, regardless of intention, that in some ways the U.S. forces in Iraq and the political process that they have uh, protected, in other words, the emergence of an Iraqi state through elections and whatnot, um, stand between whatever possibility there is for a left in Iraq and the reactionary opposition, meaning both the former Ba'athists, the Islamists, of, of both um, the, the Sunni and the, Sh and the Shia, and of course the Shia uh, paramilitaries operate with a lot of support from within the Iraqi government. Um, so that the question becomes, well, what can the left do about uh, the issue of U.S. policy and calling U.S. policy imperialist when that policy is being opposed from the right? That, that sort of creates problems. Um, and the example that I like to use when talking about this is the Iraqi Communist Party, um, which put out a statement last year, about a year ago, uh, a statement on their position on the occupation um, in which they said that while they had been opposed to the invasion and the occupation of Iraq, they were opposed to the military opposition to the U.S. and the military opposition to the Iraqi government. Um, which, in other words, they were opposed to the occupation, but it mattered to them how the occupation came to an end, right? That they felt that um, for the U.S. to be militarily edged out of Iraq would be a disaster for them. Um, and so that the issue of solidarity and the issue of internationalism is really first and foremost in my mind when I think about being a leftist here in the United States and thinking about Iraq, um, I think that critique of the left, including critique of the left internationally, is a form of participation on the left and is a form of solidarity. Um, meaning that rather than, uh, and I think that this uh, points to um, my, my opening remarks where I talked about the long degeneration of the left, I think the left in places like the United States and Europe on the issue of anti-imperialism exhibits some of its worst features in that the only thought on the left is in analyzing and describing and ultimately apologizing for things going on in the world trying to figure out, well, where is the left? What, what can we find out there in the world that we can say, this is the left? Um, and really dressing up uh, opposition of a more or less reactionary nature or of a more or less conciliatory nature towards the status quo in the world and saying, well, that's the left and we have to support them. Um, whereas I think that the, the most uh, salient form of support would be critique. And, and that goes also into the preceding historical uh, period. For instance, I think that the role of the United States left during the Vietnam War should have been an incisive critique of the NLF in South Vietnam and of the, the North Vietnamese regime. <laughs>